The General Secretary of the Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna said that the decision to increase fuel prices was part of a conspiracy to bring disrepute to the government. I would like to ask the Honorable MP, was it the Minister of Energy or the Minister of Finance who increased prices of fuel when your government was in power? It was Minister Uday Gamman Pillar who said that the price was increased upon the written approval of the Finance Minister. I would like to ask you, was Sagar Akariya Wasam referring to Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa as the person who is conspiring against the government? Is that the reason why he was removed from the Finance Ministry and Basil Rajapaksa brought to replace him? When the bond scam took place, a motion of no confidence was presented. We as backbench MPs of the government pressured the then Prime Minister to remove him from that ministry. Not only that, two other ministers during our time had to resign from their ministerial portfolios. We would like to know if today you can do the same. Minister Vimal Veeravansa is asking us about the fuel pricing formula. I don't know if he even knows what V1, V2 and V3 in the formula stood for. On average last year, the price of a barrel of crude oil was at about 45 US dollars. The price of fuel was not reduced even then. 69.2 billion rupees was deposited to the fuel stabilization fund. And we don't even know what happened to that money. We don't know if they will use their two-thirds majority to defeat this in parliament. But you have been disgraced among the public and you must understand that. I challenge you to bring Basil Rajapaksa here and allow him to make a statement on if the increase in fuel prices by Minister Udaya Gamman Pillar was right or wrong. <laughs> Meanwhile, the government pointed out that the motion of no confidence against Minister Udaya Gamman Pillar cannot be taken up as MP SM Marika began expressing his views before presenting the motion of no confidence verbally. Honourable Speaker, when a number is given for a proposal, the proposal is brought only when you call for it. Especially a motion of no confidence must be read. Take a look at the Hansard and see this. This has always been the tradition. Secondly, if nothing like that has been read, such a proposal cannot be seconded. How can you second something without a motion to begin with? So I don't know whether he has an amendment. If you have an amendment, you must move it at the beginning, not at the end. At the end, the match is over. Honorable Speaker, one parliamentarian cannot be allowed to speak twice during the debate. He has finished his speech. You cannot allow him to make another address. How can that be allowed? Sit down. You cannot be allowed to talk twice. There is no tradition like that. Honorable Speaker, we need to bring a no-confidence motion against those who do not know how to bring a motion of no-confidence. But we have to admit that you have made a mistake first. No, I'm sorry. You all have made a mistake anyway. Honorable Speaker, we are ready for the debate. So let us allow it to be read. Honorable Speaker, we are ready for the debate.